why do you think we chose you as our ideal citizen? <laughs> well, to be honest, you told me because I asked you what a citizen was and you said that it's someone who pays their bills and gives back to the community and um, and I give back to the community. I think through teaching, that's like a natural giving back to the community. And also, um, because I think through stories I've told you all that I had like a kind of a tough upbringing, but I still like made my way through and and, and doing pretty good. Is your childhood, childhood a big part of your life? What do you mean by that? Does it affect who I am today? Yeah, like would you still be the same person if you had a different childhood? No, no. And I sort of have a chip on my shoulder about it, even though like there are parts of it and I will not cry. No, there are parts of it that um, were not good and pretty terrible, but um, in some ways I have a chip on my shoulder about it because I feel like I've learned to deal with um, like not a lot, um, like I'm a pretty simple person. I don't need much to make me happy. I can solve problems with very little um, materials and um, and that's affected who I am today but it makes me more confident because um, when I see people even my age who can't I don't know do certain things or they're like oh if something like that happened to me I don't know what I'd do. Nothing really shocks me or surprises me and so I'm just like, let's take care of business because that's what I always had to do growing up. Like, regardless of the circumstances, you just had to solve the problem. If there wasn't enough food in the house, you had to just, you had to figure it out. If you would uh, change your childhood, would you? No, and I used to, I would have in the past said yes, but I think I've come to terms with it now. What, what age I, did you decide that you didn't want to change anymore? Oh, probably. Not until I was in my 30s. You realized that it helped you for the time? Yeah. Yeah. And um, and I wasn't like, I think we were sort of not paid attention to, but I wasn't like physically abused. Yeah. Just sort of we raised ourselves. Even our parents were there, but... Not there. That They never, like we were never encouraged to go to, like, with school. Never asked to see a report card. Never asked about homework never read to, never um, asked like, how are you doing? Or, I mean, just that kind of stuff. We just kind of lived separate lives and so we just kind of did our thing. And somehow we didn't just turn to drugs. I'm not kidding. Yeah. Like there are four of us and we all turned out okay, in my opinion. Yeah. Okay. So then why did you decide to become a teacher? I like teaching more than I like my subject matter. So I could have as easily picked math or I guess I, I, I like math, but um, but I just like teaching more than, more than the subject matter, but I chose teaching and I had to give up the idea of having, teaching isn't very glamorous, it just isn't. And I had to kind of give up that vision of myself and what I thought I would turn out like and be okay with not being a glamorous person or, you know, what I thought would be. Was there a teacher that made you want to teach? You know what? No. no. I had no teacher. This is, they all, teacher or kids always talk about, I had that one teacher. I didn't. And it, it's upsetting for me because I never, I think I needed that extra support as a kid and like nobody ever stepped up and gave that to me and I wanted it, but you can't, as a kid, you don't just say that. Can you give me attention? You know, you just don't do that. And so um, I never had that teacher. Not that I had horrible teachers, but nobody ever like really stepped up to um, make me feel like they really cared about me. And so I think Part of that though works for me because I want to be that person for other students. Is that I'm trying to be what, or provide what I wanted and didn't get. Who's the first person to show you? Who's what? Like, who's the first person to show that they cared about you? And gave you that attention? 
in my whole life. Yeah. Actually, the one person is my grandpa. When I was uh, be right before my parents got divorced, and then he died, and um, and I felt like a I felt he loved me unconditionally, and he was always he would dance and he was so happy to see me whenever he saw me, and then after that, um, my husband. Do you try to act like your grandpa at all? No. Did he smile a lot? Actually, yes, he did. So yeah. did you get the smile from? I don't know. Maybe. <laughs> I don't know. He was a dairy farmer and a really good, like, Christian. And But I didn't, I mean, he died when I was in the fourth grade, so I don't know a whole lot about him. <laughs> but I do remember that feeling that he loved me unconditionally and I'd never really felt like that before like he was always just so happy to see me and there was nothing wrong with me um, do you give a lot to your government do you think you give everything that you can to my government to your government <laughs> well I mean I pay my taxes and like my bills and I mean I do what I'm supposed to yeah. do yeah do you think they get back to you are you disappointed at all honestly I mean if you think about a lot of what the government does for us um, I'm not disappointed I think about our roads and the like infrastructure and policemen and teachers and all of the things that we're provided as citizens of the United States that we don't even realize that, ha that they've been provided by our government through taxes, but still, um, I'm, not, I'm not disappointed. I mean, I think things could, money could go some different ways better, but I, I'm pretty happy. I feel, um, I really do feel like lucky to live in the United States. You think that you don't you don't like a law that's happening? What would you do to change that law? Like, would you protest against it? Hmm. I mean, if it were a law, that means enough people thought that was good. Yeah. Personally, if that that kind of thing came up, then I disagreed. I would follow the law, but simultaneously work against it and try to get it changed. Do you think everyone should strive to do that way? Do you think they should write bills instead of protests? Or do you think protest is the best method to get it done? Um, I'm not really sure how... I think protests maybe just bring awareness, but I'm not sure how much change comes from protests. And now somebody will watch that and be like, oh, you don't know about this and this and this. But it's, just when I think about it across the board, I don't think that... I think protests, is, protests are about awareness, but I'm not sure that they really, and maybe, you know, like that butterfly effect kind of thing. So then maybe that does trickle in and that does help to change laws, but I don't see a direct connection. Do you think everyone should be an ideal citizen? Should strive to be an ideal citizen? Man, I don't know. Yes, I say yes, but I just, I, I love people on their terms and who they are and we all have our hang-ups and we all have our issues and I love that about people. So that sounds kind of robotic to me in a way. Um, should we try? Okay, yeah, but if you don't, it's okay. I mean, and let, I mean I'm not talking about going out like people who are murderers or anything like that but I mean we've got to have some texture people got to have some texture we can't just all be the same kind of ideal citizen or, or there's you know it's boring all right, our last question is how do you think you spread joy the, the easiest way how do I spread joy like, like happiness how do you spread it the easiest way how do you spread it so easily um, I treat people the way I want to be treated and I, that's so cliche, but it's so true. Um, and I 
sort of what I said earlier is that I appreciate people on their own terms. Like I like people for who they are. I don't want to change them. There might be things I don't like about them and I might try to curb that a little bit. But um, And so I, I genuinely love other people and appreciate them for who they are. And then also, like I said earlier to you guys, um, I um, do random acts of kindness a lot. Um, and not just at school, but just around my community um, that nobody knows about. Who taught you but to me. do that? Oh, nobody. Me. You just wanted to do that? What I was the just, first one? Do you I remember the first one? Um, uh, one Christmas, I saved up money for Christmas presents. And then I decided to take $300 and I put $100 in three different envelopes. And I just walked like into a Kmart and gave an envelope to one person and then I went somewhere else and gave an envelope to another person and then I remember driving around this um, kind of poor neighborhood near me and a guy was out shoveling snow because it was right around Christmas and I just pulled up and I was like hey can you come here for a minute and he was like yeah and um, I just said here this is for you and then I drove off really fast Life is all of the things that you do outside of your job too, and it's about love, and it's about beauty.